Let's go. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, I am super excited to be joined by Rena Stridum, who is the Chief Revenue Officer at Particle. Uh, he's going to be talking to us today a little bit about connectivity, IoT, and sort of what goes into deploying a, uh, a, uh, a uh, micro-ability kind of deployment at scale and globally. And, you know, I think as we all know, this is a super, super technical and super important issue. Um, you know, how to manage all these different little devices, scooters, bikes, mopeds, but what have you that are all over the world moving constantly um, and how do we stay compliant with cities while we do that. Um, so lots of like really good insights I'm expecting here. Rhinus, how are you doing? Good, good, Luke. Thanks, I'm doing great, thanks. Uh, happy to be here and excited to spend the time with, with your audience. All right, well, welcome to Micromobility World. With that, I'm gonna step off and let you take it because I know the presentation you'd like to share, but good luck and we will talk soon again. All right. Perfect. Thank you, Luke. So again, um, uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Rena Stridum. I'm the Chief Revenue Officer at Particle. Um, just, just covered out here is my contact info if anybody um, needs anything, would like anything, any follow-up afterwards. Uh, I can talk to you, you know, for a minute or so here about uh, what is Particle and who we are. So, so we are the leading uh, IoT integrated platform. And what that means is that uh, you know, most IoT projects, what you're doing is you're doing it yourself, you're putting together uh, you know, hardware, software, connectivity, certifications. Uh, it's a lot of work. I mean, oftentimes you're working with 20 different vendors if you're gonna put everything together yourself. The, the, the main um, you know, place that we play in the market is that we do all of that in advance. We, we put together entire IoT stacks that you can then just go ahead, like you know, for example, you know, if, if you wanna take a small tubular SOM and just put that into your a bike stem for an, an e-bike, um, that's soup to nuts, it works, right? And it can plug into all the different uh, controllers and motor and, and battery and, and everything. So uh, you know, our, our, our premise is to do all in one and significantly cut down the time to market and the time to product launch for yourself uh, when you're when you're uh, you know launching micro mobility products. So a little bit about who we are. Um, you know we're we're recognized by the major analyst firms IDC, Gartner, uh, you know G two. I, I like G two personally because that's real users. Um, that highlight how they feel, not not what an analyst feels, but how real users feel uh, about a company. So lots lots of uh, significant feedback on Particle there on G2 Crowd. Uh, you know, some of our customers, uh, you know, Jacuzzi. Uh, Jacuzzi has something called a, a smart tub, uh, which is uh, uh, fully powered by Particle. Uh, we've got about a, a dozen micromobility large customers and then probably about 50 smaller ones that are in various you know, POC and pilot uh, type phases. So, so hey, Rina, yes, I hate to jump in. Um, I don't see your presentation up. Um, are you sure you've uh, put through, put it through? Uh, let's see. Apologies, folks. There you go. Oh, there you go. All right. Perfect. So, thank you for jumping in, Luke. So tell you what, I'll, I'll just go back real quick. We're Particle. Good There's idea. my contact info. If anybody uh, would like to jot it down, we'll have it again at the end. And then... Uh, and talking about uh, you know, just some of the, the key things and, and key um, validation points for Particle. Uh, you know, we've now shipped over over a million devices, and and uh, as you can see there, you know, now it's over nine thousand companies that are using Particle. Uh, you know, it's it's about um, two hundred that are what we would call large enterprises, and then um, a long tail of companies, lots of startups, lots of uh, companies doing POCs uh, at early stages uh, with, with Particle. I mean, this is what uh, you all uh, see every day and probably why you're here, right? I mean, the global micromobility uh, market is is significantly increasing. You can see, you know, it's it's uh, you know going from 2020 to 2030 from 40 billion to almost 200 billion in size. So significant growth projections. And as you all know, um, you know, this, this is some uh, um, stats from a recent McKinsey survey where 70% um, of respondents said that they they are willing to use micro mobility vehicles for their daily commutes. So so that that's increasing significantly year over year as well. And you know, that's uh, micro mobility is one of the core focuses for us as an IoT platform to help uh, enable uh, this this electronic uh, wave. Uh, 
Uh, you know, some of the barriers that we see our customers uh, overcoming with Particle, uh, you know, communication standardization. So uh, in, in most countries, you know, there are some standards of communication where you, you need to provide data, safety data, location data um, you know, to the local municipalities. So uh, Particle helps with that uh, through our data pipelines and en enabling those, those standards around the world. Uh, you know, safety. Uh, you know, for example, um, uh, you know, we see that operators need to, for example, make sure that track whether a, a scooter is on a sidewalk versus on a street. Uh, we can track that kind of a data and, and, and you know, make sure that that's, that's presented. Uh, you know, city planning, again, more, another high quality data um, topic. And then, uh, you know, on, on security and privacy. So, you know, uh, Theft is, is one of the biggest challenges that our, our customers face. So, uh, you know, Zumo, uh, who's one of our larger micromobility customers, uh, uh, Zumo uh, is an Australian company. They operate globally now. Uh, they sell to uh, last mile delivery vehicle and the door dashes and Ubers of the world um, for, for drivers to be able to deliver uh, through e-bikes. So, uh, you know, Zumo, um, you know, with us, anti-theft, uh, has been one of the, the biggest business challenges that, that we've been able to, to help overcome uh, with them to be able to do you know, everything from integrating with locks to have passive locking uh, type, type uh, capabilities. So, uh, you know, what can we offer in the area of micromobility? So, you know, you know first of all, as I mentioned, we've got, uh, you, know, you know, experience with, with dozens of micromobility operators. So, have learned a lot uh, around the world with, with various regulations. You know, we've got large customers, um, you know, like I mentioned, Zumo in Australia and then uh, going global, Olulu in South Korea, uh, a significant number. Um, we have Bright Star, which is a division of General Motors um, here in the U.S. Uh, that has uh, micromobility vehicles. So lot, lots of different shape sizes of, of companies. And on the technology front, you know, so I, I mentioned, um, you know, what, what do we plug into and what do we, we help with? So it's anti-theft, it's safety, it's, uh, you know, predicting battery range, um, maintenance data, usage vis visibility are some of, the, some of the data elements that we can help uh, collect. And then, you know, from a you know, how do we get you to market faster? So uh, you know, everything from small tubular SOMs that can go fit in the bike, plug into everywhere it needs to, the motor, the controller, the battery, the lock communications, uh, to aftermarket attachments. We have you know, fully um, you know, extensible housings that can just plug in onto the outside of, of um, micromobility vehicles if that's the, the right thing uh, based on an aftermarket. Uh, installation. Uh, you know, some of the things we do is, uh, you know, through the data we mentioned, the ability to show usage overview, uh, maintenance overview, uh, because uh, one of the big things, the trend that we're seeing from a business model perspective is that companies want to go ahead and, and create subscription revenues. So not just sell micromobility vehicles as a one-time sale, but really drive that recurring revenue, subscription revenue. And that's where you get the highest valuations, uh, you know, on the stock market, when, when, whenever you have an exit event and, and really where you're able to get the most funding is if you're able to show that predictable uh, recurring subscription revenues. So, you know, by, by going and seeing individual usage patterns and maintenance patterns, you can now start offering packages, subscription packages and upsell packages. So you're increasing, uh, you know, your, your net retention, net, net revenue retention rate with, with existing customers as well as growing new customers. So, uh, you know, data is really, uh, you know, one of the things I can't emphasize uh, more is, you know, having access to all this rich data, not only for, uh, you know, the, the regulatory local um, authorities that, that, that want to need that to, to allow usage of the vehicles, but also for your commercial models to, to go ahead and to be able to offer, you know, additional uh, you know, value added uh, solutions. So on the technology front, um, you know, what uh, Particle offers, um, again, for anybody that may have joined late is it's a complete end to end IoT solution. So it, it is the hardware. Uh, it's also all the connectivity, global connectivity. Um, through, through cellular, um, Wi-Fi if, if needed, but uh, you know, in, in cellular uh, in, in particular, uh, 
uh, you know, and, and tracking with GPS, uh, you know, all of that comes out of the box, all the certifications that are needed uh, you know, to, to uh, really plug and, and allow these, these modules to start working from day one. And then the, the, the software consoles, so you can track fleets, you can track usage, you can track statistics and, and trends, right? So having all of that hardware connectivity, software, and the cloud uh, pipeline to connect that to, you, to wherever you need to connect your data to, all of that out of the box is, is really one of the core competencies to, to help um, you, know, you bring those products to market faster. So um, you know, that's, uh, maybe I'll deep dive you know, a little bit into one area of, of technology. You know, what we see when micromobility is used in uh, you know, thick urban settings, um, if you've heard of a term called an urban canyon, for example. So that's when you get between tall buildings and, you know, traditional GPS uh, doesn't do very well in, in those urban canyons. So, you know, for example, what we've done there is uh, we have the ability to triangulate between GPS, Wi-Fi, cellular, and even some, some other technologies to, to make sure that we can get the best location mapping uh, based on whatever is available at that individual point in time. Um, and then even you know, if something does go offline, the ability to sync all the data back uh, when, when connectivity is restored. So, so you know, lots, lots of experience in, in making sure that um, you know, the, the best available technology is, is, is available for, for those situations. You know, I, I'd like to uh, you know, open it up if there's any you know, Q&A, uh, any, any topics that anybody wants. But before we do that, uh, you know, Particle uh, is at particle.io. That's our website. So feel free to take a look there and, and uh, you know, contact our team if there's anything we can help with. Again, particle.io. Uh, and here's a, a, a URL for a micromobility white paper. Uh, I think it would be you know, especially useful for this audience. Uh, it covers topics uh, around you know, how to scale globally uh, in micromobility with IoT solutions and, and what IoT solutions are out there uh, within micromobility. So I uh, hope uh, that is of, of use uh, for this team. So, so with that, what I'll do is uh, let's switch over to the Q&A screen. And I'll stop sharing and uh, let's take a look if there's any uh, chats. Okay, there's, there's a few here. So it looks like we got some good questions coming in. Lars is asking, how do you choose which data source to trust in Urban Canyons for discriminating which location is correct? Um, yeah, that, 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 on that one. That, that, that's a great question. And, uh, you, you know, one of our solutions architects can definitely go through with you, even you know, the logic and the um, you know, permutations on, on how that's done. You know, I, I can tell you that, uh, you know, we, we've, uh, you know, this is something we've been doing over multiple years is algorithms for, I mean, obviously GPS is going to be the most accurate, right? So that's the one we, we always trust. But when it's not available, you know, looking at, uh, you know, it's, it's a function of how many, you know, Wi-Fi triangulation signals you can find uh, you know, versus cellular. So uh, you know, our, our team can definitely walk you through the, the uh, um, you know, exact logic of that, but, but, it, but it goes from you know, most finite to, to, to broader. Okay. Cool. Uh, looks like Dwayne would like to know: Can you comment on potential use for LoRaWAN in uh, in the future? Uh, yeah, that's long, like long distance, low, like low latency, low bandwidth, something like that. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, you know, LoRaWAN is definitely something that uh, you know, we have some uh, uh, customers that that have those type type of uh, uses in in uh, pilot phase. Uh, it's something we're looking to add to our. Uh, you know, standard uh, in product roadmap, um, you know, here in the near future. So happy to talk more about that. Cool. And then Thad is asking, how do you, how do you integrate and secure bike e-bike charging stations? So thinking about IoT for infrastructure and not just things that move around. Yeah. So, so um, if you think of particle um, as a platform, as a service, right? So we're, we're a platform with very well-defined APIs. So what our customers do is, uh, you know, it's, it's very easy to take, um, you know, all of the, um, you know, physical data and then link to APIs. So, you know, finding out, you know, who are the, the in-region e-bike charging stations and, and what, what are the communications that they need to happen to, to go ahead and, and secure. So, um, you know, 
again, that's probably a, a deep dive question. We can have our, our team uh, work with you on in your specific case. Uh, but uh, you know, through APIs and through our extensible adapters, we can plug into any of our hardware modules. Um, we, we, we can cover that. Great. Um, Dominic asks, besides recurring subscriptions, what is a good business model for microabilities to aim for profitability? Um, I'm not sure if you, uh, that's, that seems more like a business strategy question for the operators. Uh, Rhinus, do you have a point of view on that, or should we go to something a little bit more? Yeah, what I, do you think? I mean, I, I would say, um, you know, in general today, uh, you know, venture capital community and, and public markets look less about profitability and more about growth and re repeatable revenue. So you know, that's that's why I mentioned the concept of recurring subscriptions, right? Because if you can continue to show um, you know, exponential growth as well as um, predictability and repeatability, that, that's really where, where subscriptions help. Great. Um, Lars asks, what are the big obstacles to getting better location accuracy from GPS in addition to there being urban canyons? So besides, we talked about urban canyons a minute ago. What are some of the other barriers or challenges? Yeah, um, you, you know, uh, uh, what, what, I would, um, what I would suggest is, Lars, if you want to get in touch uh, with one of our uh, micromobility sales teams, we can take a look at exactly you know, the use case of your vehicles and, and you know, where they're being used and, and get, get uh, very specific with you. Um, you know, in, in, in general, uh, what we find is that, you know, for us, the, the more different types of, of sensors, you know, the, the combination of GPS, Wi-Fi, cellular, LoRaWAN and others is, is, is by far the, the best way. But, but we can get more specific with you uh, on your use case. Cool. We've um, got time for maybe one more here and it looks like sure. there's one left. So uh, let's see. Do you see any questions you'd like to jump to as a, as a final one to close on, Renus? Yeah, let's see. There's a um, question about um, uh, Canada. Who's the best to contact? Uh, so, so if you just go to particle.io, uh, which is our website, um, you know there, there's a contact button there, and uh, and uh, you know you'll um, immediately uh, be able to be routed to the the right person. Great. Um, okay. Um, then I think that's a good place for us to close. Um, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you if they would like to do that? Yeah, so my, my contact sure. info is just my first name. It's Rinus, R-I-N-U-S, at particle.io. Um, and if you go directly to our website, there's a contact button right there where you can be routed to, you know, based on what your question is and exactly where you are and get routed to the right person. So particle.io, okay. thank you so much. Appreciate the time. Yeah, so absolutely. Appreciate your time, Renus. This was really interesting. Um, and I think the, the breadth and depth of questions really reveal what a, what a you know, uh, important, important facet uh, connectivity and IoT deployment is when you think about the micromobility industry. So um, super glad to have had your expertise here with us today. Um, everyone who's here uh, on the other stage right now, Travis Vanderzanden from Bird is talking to our co-founder, Horace Deju. I'm sure that's a great, a great conversation. Um, in case you missed it, also, we just launched Micromobility Europe. We're going to be going to Amsterdam on June 1st and 2nd. Uh, and tickets are on sale now. Um, you can learn all about it. The link I'm dropping in the chat. Uh, it's our website. Um, and hopefully we'll see a lot of you guys there. Um, great. Well, thanks everyone for your time. And we will see you more uh, throughout the day. Thanks, Renus. Thanks, Luke.